In this video, we're going to take a look at standard 7.6H, which says a student is expected to solve problems using qualitative and quantitative predictions and comparisons from simple experiments. I'd like to share some information uh, from TEA. It comes from the Mathematics Teague Supporting Information document for Grade 7. In that document, it says that um, qualitative comparisons use vocabulary or terminology such as more likely, less likely, and equally likely. Quantitative comparisons use vocabulary or terminology such as twice as likely or 10 times more likely, etc. So let's look at an example problem for this standard. A manager, a store manager receives a delivery of two boxes of light bulbs. Each box contains 25 light bulbs. The store manager tests all the light bulbs and finds that two of them are defective. Based on these results, what can the store manager predict about the next delivery of light bulbs? We're given four different answer choices here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at each answer's choice. We're going to determine which answer choice is correct. And we're going to justify why it's correct. And we're going to explain why the other answers are incorrect. So I think a good strategy for this problem is to take the information that's given and set it up in a table. So I'm going to create a table with the first column being the number of boxes of light bulbs and the second column being the total number of defective light bulbs. So when we go back to the problem, we know that the store manager received two boxes of light bulbs and in those two boxes there were a total of two that were defective. So in two boxes of light bulbs, there were two defective light bulbs total. So let's use this to predict how many do you think, how many defective light bulbs do you think would be in one box? That would be one defective light bulb. So we're going to use this pattern to continue making predictions. So for three boxes of light bulbs, we would expect three defective light bulbs total. Four boxes would have four defective light bulbs. Five boxes would have five defective light bulbs. And six boxes would have six defective light bulbs. Okay, so now let's look at our answer choices. So answer choice F says a delivery of three boxes will contain three more defective light bulbs than a delivery of two boxes. Well, three more, that would mean a total of five. But if I look at my table, three boxes would contain a total of three defective light bulbs. Not three more, but three total. So answer choice F is not correct. A delivery of four boxes would contain two more defective light bulbs and a delivery of two boxes. Well, we would expect for four boxes for there to be a total of four defective light bulbs. Well, four is two more than what we would expect from the two, def two boxes, which is two defective light bulbs. So I'm thinking this might be correct, but we're gonna continue before we circle and decide this is our correct answer. A delivery of five boxes would contain 10 more defective light bulbs than a delivery of two boxes. Well, a delivery of five boxes would have a total of five defective light bulbs, not 10 more than two boxes, which would be 12. A delivery of six boxes would contain three more defective light bulbs than a delivery of two boxes. Well, six boxes would contain a total of six defective light bulbs but that would actually be for more than a bo two boxes. So this one is not correct either. So we have concluded that G is the correct answer. 